It's all about chest, shoulders, back, and a small waist, right? Because we want that V. It's the ratio, it's proportions that really, really look good, especially for the summer. Hey guys, I'm Mark McKillier with Live Anabolic, and today I'm gonna give you six exercises to start working on your body and get it ready for the summer. Now, guys, these six exercises are devoid, you're gonna notice, of one particular muscle group that most guys think is really important for a good looking summer body, and that is arms. Not gonna be doing any arm exercises, no biceps, no triceps. So why is that? Why are these six exercises that I've picked <sighs> focus on other muscle groups in the body except the arms? Well, it's, it's about proportions, guys. So the thing that looks really good on your physique, especially when you're looking at somebody from afar, and that is the shoulder to waist ratio. So these exercises are all designed to build a big chest, a wide back, wide shoulders, and as small a waist as possible. Now guys, we can't do exercises to make our waist small. We can do exercises to build up some great looking abs when we uncover them because we've get, gotten rid of all that fat that's covering those abs up. So part of the six exercises that I'm not really gonna mention here in the list is actually losing as much body fat as possible. So when you're eating healthy and you're exercising and you're burning excess calories every day, you're gonna be dropping all that fat around your belly. Well, it's not just uncovering your abs, but it's making your waist look smaller. And when your waist gets smaller, it makes your shoulders and your back and your chest look bigger. They're all interrelated, guys. So that's the goal of these six exercises. Make your, make your upper body look really wide and make your waist look really small. All right, so before I demonstrate all these different exercises that I think you guys are gonna really like, I wanna just tell you about a, a free resource we have. Please, guys, if you haven't checked it out already, please look at our Facebook group. I don't care if you hate Facebook. I hate Facebook. I hate Mark Zuckerberg, right? <laughs> but it's free and we have the best fitness group on the entire internet, guys. And it's, it's designed specifically for guys like you and me. It's, it's basically men over 40. And so we got a lot of people in their 40s, a ton in their 50s and 60s, and we also have a bunch of guys in their 70s and we even have some guys in their 80s. And it's not just a few, we have thousands and thousands of people all around the world. And it's a blast, everybody is super cool. I'm the moderator, okay, so I'm in there every single day answering every question, all right? And then I like to post stuff, and, and then it's not just me answering questions, it's all the other guys. So they're, they're people just like you that have the same problems as you and have the same questions as you, plus they're, everybody's helping each other out. So there's lots of great feedback, and guess what? It costs exactly zero dollars, so why not? Click on the link below this video, it'll take you to our group. Um, you have to actually request to become a member and we'll, we'll let you in. But it's, it's, it's a fantastic resource and it's a bunch of really cool guys. So that said, I wanna move on to these six different exercises. And remember guys, none of them are really focused on building my biceps or triceps. It's all about chest, shoulders, back, and a small waist, right? Because we want that V, it's the ratio, it's proportions that really, really look good, all right? Especially for the summer. So the first thing, guys, is let's, let's start talking about some things we can do for our chest. Now, all you guys at home probably got the dumbbells, right? I want you to get an adjustable bench if possible, all right? If you don't have a bench, you can still do these exercises that I'm gonna show you, but they're not as effective. These benches are inexpensive, all right? You can just put them in the corner of your room or throw them in the garage or whatever, and they, they just make all the exercises, not just easier to do, but more effective because you get a, a bigger range of motion. So the first thing I want to show you guys is some dumbbell chest presses. So this is my go-to exercise at the gym on chest day, all right? So this is my prime, if I had to pick one exercise and I can only do one for my chest, it would be dumbbell chest presses. Okay, and I have, if you notice, I got the, the bench set up on a slight incline here. Let me, let me do a few reps and then I wanna to talk to you about adjusting the bench to accomplish slightly different things. So guys, remember, I'm doing a real light weight here, much, much lighter 
than I need to. It's really just to demonstrate the momentum or the tempo. All right, so I'm controlling the weight on the way down. It's not dropping down and I'm not bouncing off the bottom. All right, so I'm controlling the weight down and then, and it's fine to push up a little faster than you come down. So the negative part of each rep is just important as the concentric part where your muscles are contracting, okay? So guys, that's a really good form as far as dumbbell chest presses are concerned, but I'd like to hit my chest from multiple angles, all right? Because we got two primary muscles in our pecs, all right? You got the bigger, larger, middle and lower pec muscle, and then you got an upper pec muscle. And so when you put the bench back on an incline like this, all right, it changes the angle that you're pushing the weights, okay? And because I'm pushing the weight slightly more upwards as opposed to perpendicular to my chest, it's gonna put slightly more emphasis on the upper part of my chest, all right? Now I'm still working the middle and lower part, but the upper's getting a little more, okay? Um, emphasis. Now guys, when you're doing lots and lots of sets, I really like to change the angle of attack on each muscle group. So all you have to do is in between sets, is just change the angle. So when I lower the back, I'm gonna change the emphasis so I'm not putting quite so much stress on the upper part and it starts to move down. And then of course, I can get to the flat bench here, okay, which is real traditional. You're pushing the weight perpendicular to your torso and that's typically where you're the strongest you're engaging the most pec fibers possible and then you can do a decline okay so you're actually pushing slightward slightly downward relative to your torso and you're really focusing on the lower part so when you're working your chest guys that's why these benches are so valuable okay that's much harder to do when you're on the ground or using some cushions off your couch. You can kind of simulate, you know, these different angles, but still having an adjustable bench is way better and you're gonna get more range of motion because I can get my elbows back behind my back because this bench back here is preventing the floor from limiting my range of motion. So no dumbbells, all right? When I'm going down, oh, I can get that great stretch. If I was on the floor, my elbows would hit the floor at about right here. So I get another, you know, three or four or five inches of range of motion and range of motion is what really helps build big muscles. All right, so exercise number two is gonna focus on our shoulders. Now remember I was talking about that V, we wanna build a nice wide upper body and as small a waist as possible. The small waist is the most difficult part because that ent <laughs> entails losing a bunch of fat. If you have that problem now building wide shoulders all right if i and i'm just going to give you one shoulder exercise here if i had to pick my favorite is a dumbbell lateral raise now our shoulders are comprised of three main muscle groups you know we got this front muscle here the lateral and then we have a rear head to our delt muscles now when i'm doing these lateral raises guys you can't use much weight okay and it's all about form and not using momentum so you don't want to sway but i'm just going to basically focus on lifting my elbows, okay? And then the dumbbells are just gonna kinda come along for the ride. So I don't want the dumbbells up higher than my elbows. I wanna kinda get my elbows up high and then the dumbbells are gonna come along for the ride. And you don't need to go real high, guys. You don't need to go up here. So as you're lifting these dumbbells, you can stop at shoulder height and then let it back down. Now remember, guys, I don't wanna see this. I'm just using momentum, okay, to raise and lower. So I'm lifting the weight and then I'm lowering the weight. So when you're doing it correctly, you're gonna feel tension in those shoulder muscles throughout the full range of motion. And then I love this exercise because like I said, if you're doing it correctly and get that mind-muscle connection going, you get a fantastic burn. And that burn is lactic acid buildup. And of course that triggers our body to start producing more testosterone. So fantastic exercise. It's also a good shoulder exercise for a lot of you guys that might have shoulder problems and you can't lift 
your hands above your head. A lot of you guys will be able to do this, all right? You may not be able to go all the way up here, but even if you're doing real good slow controlled form and you're keeping your elbows a little bit lower, you could still get a fantastic burn and great shoulders. All right, so we've done an exercise for a chest. We did an exercise for a shoulder. Now let's work on our back, all right? So this is a one-arm dumbbell row. Now, once again, I'm gonna be using the bench. I love benches for all these kind of things. I'm gonna brace my upper body, okay, this way. That way I'm not having to support a bunch of weight with my lower back. Remember, we're trying to build a, a big, strong upper back, okay? And the lower back can get injured really easily if you're trying to do too much weight and you're not using very good form. But when you're supporting your upper body with your off arm, I'm gonna be doing left-handed rows. That means I really don't have to worry about my lower back having a lot of weight or stress on it. So I can use really heavy dumbbells. Now, I'm going much lighter than I, than I really would at the gym, but that's just to demonstrate for you guys. And basically, I'm supporting my upper body with my right arm here and my right leg, and I'm just trying to use really good form, and I'm just pulling the dumbbell up and back towards my hip, guys. You're not bringing it up this way, all right? You want your elbow to come backwards and the dumbbell to stay close to your body and close to your hip. And this is another exercise I see guys cheating on at the gym all the time. They use way too much weight and they, they're, they're yanking it, all right? With no sense in yanking it, you're just using momentum. So really focus on squeezing your lats and pulling, all right? And I'm not yanking it up. I'm slowly contracting and bringing that dumbbell up and I'm controlling the weight back down. So control up and then down. And if you don't have enough weight at home, all right, because these are big, strong muscles, this is how you make this a lighter weight feel heavier. So up, one, two, three, down. Up, one, two, three, down. So I can take a relatively light weight and because I'm holding it at the top of the movement and my muscles are fully contracted, I'm really increasing the time under tension and I'm creating a fantastic burn. So guys, these rows are hitting our lats, all right? And of course, lots of other muscles in our upper back, but the lats also make you look really wide. So once again, chest, shoulders, lats, you look wide, the wider you look up here, the smaller your waist looks, no matter how much fat you got down there. All right, so the fourth exercise today, guys, is, is something called mountain climbers. And it's, it's, it's a fantastic exercise for your core. And it's also a cardio exercise if you really do it hard and fast. So I have a lot of guys complain about bad lower backs. They can't do crunches, it hurts. Uh, maybe their knees hurt and they can't do other cardio exercises like jumping jacks or lunges or skaters or something. So for all you guys that have those problems, I tell them, do mountain climbers. No stress on your knees, shouldn't be any stress on your back, okay? But it also, it works your core, your abs, and it also really burns a lot of calories because trust me, you're gonna get out of breath if you do these right. So guys, mountain climbers, you just basically get into a push-up position, all right? And there's a couple different ways. So if you're a beginner, you can bring your foot up, back, toe up, touch. Toe touch, toe touch. Now, once you get a little better at this, you can hop. So my toe, when I bring my foot up, my toe never hits the ground, okay? And then I hop and change sides, and I hop, hop, and you can get really fast here, guys. When I'm doing mountain climbers, guys, I'm engaging all the muscles in my core. And see how hard I'm breathing? I only did that for about 10 or 15 seconds. You're gonna get a really good cardio workout at the same time. And of course, what does that do? Helps to burn that fat, makes our waist look smaller. We got less fat down there. Plus, when that fat does start to disappear, you'll have more defined abs that'll look really cool in a bathing suit. All right, so the fifth exercise today 
is something just called dumbbell shrugs. It's a real straightforward exercise, guys. And it's another exercise where you can actually lift a lot of weight. So a lot of you guys probably won't have heavy enough dumbbells at home. If you're at the gym, you got all kinds of stuff. You can go up to 120, 130 pounds, but at home, most of you guys are gonna max out at around probably 50 pounds, all right? That's as heavy as my dumbbell set goes. So let me show you how to do them. And then shrugs are gonna be targeting these trap muscles up here, which are part of our upper back, right? So remember, a big upper back makes you look wide. It also, at the same time, makes your waist look smaller. So just grab a couple of dumbbells. Most of you guys are gonna probably be able to use the heaviest dumbbells you have access to. And there's not a lot of range of motion here, guys. So all you wanna do is really relax your shoulders, okay? And let your arms hang down as low as possible. And then all I'm gonna do is just shrug. Get as high as I can and squeeze the top and then back down. Up, down, squeeze, down. And notice how I'm kind of holding it at the top here for a couple of seconds. I'm not going up and down like this, okay? So you really got to focus on contracting all those little muscles up there in your upper back as much as possible. Let me turn around and see if you can see a little better here. So it's, I'm just kind of letting my shoulders roll forward just a little bit and dangle and then Straight up and straight down. A long time ago, back in the good old days when I was younger, people used to think you were supposed to roll your shoulders and do this kind of stuff. Uh-uh, just guys, just straight up squeeze and then let it down. And if you don't have heavy enough weights for that to be tough, okay, just like the other exercise I showed you with the rows, hold at the top and squeeze it and squeeze it for a three or four or a five count before you let it back down. That will make those weights feel a whole lot heavier. Then you'll start feeling the burn and the pump in your traps. Once again, big upper back is what we're shooting for. All right, so the last exercise today, number six, is something called a dumbbell pullover, all right? Now guys, this is gonna take a little practice, so I want you to do it with no weight at first, okay? Because you're just gonna have to get used to positioning your body on the bench and you need to know where to kind of put your shoulder blades and just kind of get the balance and the coordination first before you start using a weight but this is exercise is designed to target not only your chest but your lats all right so we're going to kind of get two muscle groups at the same time so you're going to put one dumbbell okay i put it on the bench here next to me and then i'm going to position myself okay for the exercise and I'm gonna to get to a point where I feel my shoulder blades and they're kind of right in the middle of the bench, okay, the pad here. And this is the motion we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be holding the dumbbell in our hands like this and we're gonna be going over our head and it's gonna be stretching, all right, us back and then I'm gonna pull the dumbbell back up straight overhead. So it's gonna be like this and then back up. And we're gonna be using a lot of our, our lats and a little bit of our upper chest. So now that I'm in the correct position, okay guys, and, and you're gonna have to kind of experiment to see exactly where that is for your shoulder blades relative to where they're positioned on the bench. All right, but it's pretty quick. I mean, you'll figure it out real quick. So I like this feel right here, okay. Got my dumbbell here. I'm just gonna pick it up with both hands and put it on my stomach. Then I'm gonna put my hands under it, okay, like this, all right. And then it's gonna go straight up overhead. And then I'm gonna let that dumbbell stretch me all the way back as far as my body will go. And then I'm really feeling my lats and my upper chest contract here, guys. And then I'm just gonna put it back over here. And then, oh boy, wiggle my way, my way back up to sit on the bench and talking to you guys. So guys, six real straightforward exercises 
Nothing but dumbbells are required. All of them are designed to make you look big up high and small down around your waist. But the biggest trick for the small waist guys is nutrition. You have to eat in a caloric deficit day in and day out if you're really trying to lose a bunch of belly fat. That is the key. And then guys, remember, man, it's summertime coming up. It's time to get in shape. You can do this and you can eat properly. It is not that hard. You control what goes in your mouth every single minute of the day. You can do it, trust me. And the best way to do it is to stick with it and never give up on yourself.